Hello, uh, back again on another Fortnite battle. Um, this time it's on the, well, it's not brand new custom build because it's with old parts, but the Raider build. Um, we've got the 4670K, overclocked to 4.5 gigahertz. Just let him shoot this person. 4.5 gigahertz, uh, medium settings, 1080p. Uh, GTX 1070 that's overclocked as well, 16 gigabytes of RAM running at 1600, same as on the Optiplex. Um, the idea of the project was to see if I could build a custom PC as cheaply as I did the Optiplex i7 and see how it compares. I haven't worked out exactly what this cost yet, but I think this might even be slightly cheaper and performance wise so far on all the benchmarks and even looking at this game it's pretty much about the same so yeah it's just a play through just so you can see how it'll work if you're on a on a fast i5 Haswell the only thing is when you do get the frame drops they are bigger drops than you get with the i7 even though this is running 800 megahertz faster on all cores you can see my 1% lows are around 36 FPS and you're below 30 FPS. I don't think you'd be, I don't think you'd be quite as low as that on the i7. However, when you think this CPU would cost you 12 quid from CEX and that i7 would cost you 55, um, it's doing a pretty good job. Oh, I didn't know you could do that with them chickens. I've never seen that before. You'll see the uh, CPU because it's only got four cores and no hyper threads, and despite the high clock speed, it does seem to be sitting at 100% most of the time. The temperatures, though, are still quite low because I'm running an all in one H100 cooler. Which has got brand new uh, EK cryo fuel coolant and it's sitting outside the case as well. Decent ambient cooling. Oh, taking them out there, aren't you? I reckon this is probably the fastest I5. Certainly, UK claim Fortnite on the Haswell platform. getting some nasty frame drops there. Still playable though, isn't it? I don't know, you've got two of them there, you're going to have to sort out. And another one. Oh, it's Shot. There is, isn't they? They're ev they're everywhere. Okay, we're going to on the left. Well, this is a pretty epic gameplay. Get your harvester out. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Is that a new gun, that thing, would just give you your energy back? Alright. Shot. 
Nine kills. That's the trouble when you're only using a quad core on this. There's too much going on. But it's on 100% all the time. Going to so say you're hitting just above. I think I would say you're as good as Josh now. Especially as you're playing on worse machinery. Nice. I'd say that was a person, weren't it? Yeah, because the bots don't normally run away like that, do they? He should have. He weren't jumping or um, like zigzagging or anything. Literally made it easy for you. Oh, you could, if you hit in the head, does that normally kill him? Chug. Nice. You're gonna get your chug. Here he comes. <laughs> he just stood there and let you shoot him. Die then if you don't get out. He's a nice bloke, you'd stand there and let you get that as another kill, wouldn't he? And, uh, he's probably died. Oh, you're in the store. Yeah? You've got 18 kills now. So he's going to leave it till the last second, didn't he, to come out. He obviously knows you're there.
he's perhaps waiting for you to go and then he's going to come out behind you and shoot you there he is Shot. That was nice. Well, you're going to beat Josh now if you win the game. You'll be the uh, Fortnite champion. Round there. He's in the safe bit, isn't he? And you're not, so he's going to wait there for you to come out. Do you think he was a bot? 